Falcon's son, though, is adamant that North Carolina should not be reopening yet. Yes, he's saying that his mother died after testing positive for COVID-19 and being moved to another facility. He told reporter Ken Lemon he thinks that opening the state back up will only lead to more heartache. There's a memorial of sorts at Jan's restaurant in Falston with pictures of Janice Green, the woman who started this restaurant 40 years ago. Two weeks ago, the 72-year-old reportedly tested positive for COVID-19 while in a Shelby-assisted living center. I immediately just thought, oh no, this is it. Wes Leonard believes his mother died hours later because of the stress of COVID combined with her transport to a secure facility and confusion brought on by Alzheimer's. It's disappointing for him watching the series of protests from people eager to open the doors of closed businesses and test social distancing. Put people back to work. Protesters in Raleigh and across the country arguing economic costs outweighs the public health threat. I say let those people go free. Let them do what they want to do and see if they get sick. And then the rest of us can decide if we want to come out. He says as the son of a former restaurant owner, he feels for people who've lost jobs because of stay-at-home restrictions, but he agrees with the governor's decision to extend the order. Just stand their ground and wait a little bit longer just to be safe. He understands the announcement today may ignite more protests from people worried about how this decision impacts work. We may be better off staying with the battle now and, and staying closed for a little bit longer. He said he'd like to see more people around to enjoy the legacy his mother built. Back to you.